This is Robbie from Southern California. This is a long trip down. This is why I don't go down that often. I'm looking for spiders. Shh, Ivy, it's me. Dogs don't know what's going on. All kinds of bugs are flying. I'm gonna walk in with spiders. That's one thing I don't like with spiders. I'll tell you the story as I go down. The reason I don't like them is Gary lies. <laughs> He told me once, if you ever walk into an orb spider, don't worry, they'll drop right off of you. As he walked in with it one day with a great big orb spider on him. Just sitting there and I'm thinking, yeah, they drop right down. I got all the dogs barking. They don't know what's going on. You probably can't see a thing. Now let's see if we can zoom out. Now I can see better. Sorry. If I... Pull it all the way, I guess you would say out, then it do, it's not as good. I just get better depth field, but he's down there somewhere. I'm trying to see if I see any lights. Let's keep going. Okay, let's see. Oh, you can see, hear Jack now barking. I can't do anything, I locked it, so they're not roaming around. Okay, I need to watch steps in the dark. It's probably lighter for you than it is for me. So what I'm doing is I'm going down here because last night I think Gary did 30 dragon fruit. He doesn't know I'm here. And I think he just texted me that he's doing 24. This is his garden at night. Now, there's scorpions around. And they don't bother me. Spiders bother me. Let's keep going. My goodness. We've never seen his garden at night, have we? Look at the sky. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that gorgeous? I'm sure by now he hears me. I see lights going. I think he's on the outside. Listen. I heard an owl. So those are the ones he's pollinated already. I'm going to see if I can zoom in. Now see that? They've already turned into fruit. They're starting. And then here's one he pollinated the other night. They're all over. He's got to go up on a ladder. Let's, gosh, you have to duck. They're all over. I don't know how many we're going to end up with. Oh. Okay, I thought there was something there. Yeah, scary on the ladder that we're pushing. Are you down there? Yeah. Wait a minute, are you in the inside of your garden or the out? Outside. Inside? Oh, I outside. just, you are on the outside. This is something I don't like. Only because of spiders. Look at the size of these things. You know, I really someday have to figure out what to do with them because they're the most productive squash that's, that we grow. I decided to make a trip down. You counted them before you 17, started? 17, You're not live, right? I, not live, but we're taping. We are taping. He's counting. Look at that up there. We're just gonna quietly watch. I saw a tree frog jump off one of the flowers onto something in there somewhere. Oh, cool. Got to get my, um, move my ladder over, but I... I can move around you on the other side. I'm not going to step on anything. This is a real jungle, a total jungle. He's 
very serious when he's doing this because he's counting and if we or if we talk if we talk to him he misses he's, and he's not marking it down see this is why it's not self-pollinating because it's got to get in here and see how far out it is so there are some dragon fruit where where this is oh sticky is deep inside and then it would fall in so you need a critter to come and take the pollen and get it down inside there Did you get this one in here?
Which one? I saw that. Let me see. Let me zoom in on that. Nice and big. I think I've got two more on the other side. So more than 24. Yep. You did this one already? These? Yeah, I've done these two already. Do I do them again or no? No, good. So there's no more right here. No, I'm done out. Sorry. There's the porch up there. Following him, I see cobwebs. Should I close this? Or are you coming back? I've got to get the ladder. There's fruit everywhere. I see new little buds coming. I'll show you in a second. You can see them. been doing this like almost every night. Oh, here. There's, there's, these are new ones for me. And there's new ones for me. They're all over. So you don't see them a lot of times until they get a little decent size. So see how the flowers have drooped off? And see how nice and green. Wait till it gets. See how nice and green it is there? I don't know if you can see this right there. That means that fruit took. If it didn't take, it would turn yellow. Let's go in. My gosh, they're everywhere. Look at that. Look at it on top. Look how many there are. My granddaughter is waiting. Look at more up there, budding, more fruit. This is amazing. This is, this is why there's like hundreds of them. I don't know how many are going to make it. This one's too new to tell. Let's see if we can. I got to make sure. I have to use the light I'm using for you to see. Now we're, whoops, <laughs> we're not going to be able to see this. Let me see if I can move over. I don't want to step on a fig leaf board. No, we're not going to be able to see. But you saw that one he showed you. See how many there are? They're all over. I mean, this is the whole length. This is literally a jungle. We should just take a quick walk. No, I don't think I want to take a quick walk. He saw a frog. That's really cool. Mm. Bit, turn around. I don't want to be in his way. This is his vacuum. He's been using this for a while. He vacuums up the pollen, mixes it together so he gets from multiple flowers, and then he puts it in there, which is the best way to do it. Because this way you're getting pollen from most multiple flowers. And you can refrigerate it and use it another night if you didn't have enough pollen. So you don't toss it out. That's it? One more. One more. I don't think we'll be able to get back there. This is beautiful. This is garlic chives. See all the little pollinators at night? Isn't that amazing? The garden's alive at night. I don't know if we can go over here. Let's go over here. I'm not going to try to climb through all that. It's bad enough there's stuff everywhere. But the garden is alive at night just as much as it is during the day. The problem is we don't have the proper pollinators for the dragon fruit. I mean, there might be a hit and miss. Something might go in there and climb around and... So you might still get fruit, but the real creatures that are needed to do that, we don't have here. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Light works really nice. I'm very impressed. Very impressed. So 
it's on the roof. I'm not climbing up here. Whoops. He's way up there. So I'm going to step back for a minute. Let him finish up since that is the last one. And then he can come and tell us exactly how many he did. Let's walk over here for a minute. Look at this. This is his passion fruit. They turn brown, but you have to wait till they fall off. Let me see what's over here. Because there's something else to see back there. Yeah, I, I don't think I'd go traipsing through here. Look at that. Look at this tunnel he did. How beautiful. We gotta see this during the day. It's completely covered. Look at that. You could have a wedding under there. Look at, isn't that gorgeous? You could stand under there and get married. Beautiful. The sky is beautiful. Look at the streak in the sky. Is that not beautiful tonight? Okay, I'm gonna wait till he comes over. So this is kind of very raw. I'm not even going to edit it. So what can you tell me about this? You did how many? 26 tonight. 26. I tried not to talk to you so you wouldn't lose count because you don't have a... You used to have a clicker I got you once. Yeah, that's... I know where that is, but I don't bring it down yeah. with me. You used to just click on that. So you did 26 tonight. How many did you, did you do last night? 30 last night. Wow. So, and so many of them took. Almost, I'm looking at... Almost everything that I've been pollinating this year has set fruit. So the vacuum, that's been a real game changer. So I'm using the vacuum, then I'm putting it in my little container here. So I've got a little bit extra that I can put in a Ziploc bag and refrigerate. So. Yeah, it's sped things up, made things a lot better. Wow. Okay, I guess we can go up. But this, this is something I don't want to traipse through here. There could be black widows. But the biggest thing is, well, I don't worry about scorpions. Actually, you don't have as many spiders as I have. Oh, there's orb spiders everywhere. I've walked through them and I've upset uh, their um, webs. So remember when, when you start weaving in, in and out. Yeah, there's plenty in there. I've, I've been able to spot them and I've left most of them alone, but yeah, there's plenty of orb spiders. This is a guy that told me, don't worry, they drop off of you. As he walked in, it was sitting on his head, on his hair. It's just made a little nest. Like, okay, great, great big one. It's just going to sit there and he's telling me they drop off. So I don't trust My them on that. Passion fruit is loaded, but it hasn't started to ripen yet. So I've seen a couple brown ones. Hopefully they'll ripen soon. So I'm looking forward to that. These are staying green for a long time. I'm not sure what's going on. Must be the weather. Well, maybe they're getting a little more size to them or no? Yeah, they are getting a little bit more size to them. Yeah, they're, they're actually, you know what? They're bigger this year than they normally are. Look at all the pollinators tonight. Okay, I'm going to get up. So with that, I'll let you take it. Well, with that, if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and you can always check out some of our other videos on our channel that's Robbie and Gary gardening easy and I'm going to go up now and I guess check on my baby guineas so thanks for watching good night good night bye bye don't forget to eat what you grow bye bye oh real quick what is this this is beautiful at night yeah, yeah that's the um that lettuce yeah, uh, the ballet. Ballet? Yeah, it's really loving the warm weather. So I brought in a couple of small leaves the other night and it's very lettuce. It's a kind of a tropical lettuce substitute. So you can cook it or eat it raw. I just break off a leaf and I eat it when I'm working in my garden down here. So it's good chopped up in a mixed salad. It's beautiful. Okay, good night. Bye-bye.